folks get your video on that? There's just been an incident here. Have you ever wondered about the incredible power and danger of dams? These massive man-made structures have the ability to control floods, generate electricity, and provide water to millions of people. However, when things go wrong, the consequences can be catastrophic. Join us on an epic journey as we explore the top 15 most dangerous dams in the world. Number 15. Brazil Dam. Mining dams play a crucial role in containing the waste products produced during mining operations. These structures are designed to prevent the escape of these wastes into the environment and cause damage. They are built to withstand the test of time and ensure that the environment is protected from the harmful effects of mining activities. However, when these dams fail, the results can be catastrophic. This was the case in Brazil on January 25, 2019, when a mining dam located in the state of Minas Gerais collapsed, resulting in the death of 110 people. The disaster sent a torrent of reddish-brown mining waste thundering through the valley, swapping houses and leaving a sea of clotting mud up to 8 meters deep in some places. The waste contained toxic levels of iron oxide, which plastered 620 acres of Brumadinho and the Parapiba River. The Parapiba River flows into the much larger Seo Francisco River, which was also contaminated. The impact of the disaster is immeasurable, with hundreds of people losing their lives, homes, and businesses. Olha como ela tá. Nunca vi isso na minha vida. The video footage of the disaster shows the moment when a powerful wave of waste began sweeping over everything in its path. It was a terrifying sight to behold as the muddy water waved with immense force and destruction. The impact of mining disasters goes far beyond the immediate loss of life and property. The environmental damage can be long-lasting and can have severe consequences for the ecosystem. The disaster sent 11.7 million cubic meters of mining waste thundering through the valley. The aftermath of the disaster is still being felt, and the impact of the people affected will last for years to come. Number 14. Dam at Lake Dunlap Lake Dunlap, located in the Guadalupe River in Texas, was created in 1931 with the construction of a dam for the purpose of generating hydroelectric power. The management of the dam and lake was later assumed by the Guadalupe Blanco River Authority in 1963. The lake became a popular venue for outdoor recreation, including fishing and boating, and was stocked with various species of fish, such as catfish, crappie, striped bass, and largemouth bass. However, on the morning of May 14, 2019, disaster struck when the 90-year-old middle spillway of the dam unexpectedly collapsed. This resulted in the near-complete draining of the lake by the end of the day. The lower concrete portion of the dam, however, remained in place. The cause of the collapse was determined to be aging structural steel. Following the incident, the Guadalupe Blanco River Authority collaborated with residents of Lake Dunlap, who formed an engineering and technical committee and a temporary water control improvement district to find a solution. Engineers and the Texas Water Development Board came up with a plan to replace the spill gates at Dunlap and other aging dams under the authority. In November 2020, the residents of Lake Dunlap voted on and passed three propositions that paved the way for the creation of a formal water control district and the assessment of ad valorem taxes to fund the construction of a new dam. The construction of the new design is estimated to be completed in May 2023. Number 13. Edenville Dam In May 2020, a dam in mid-Michigan called the Edenville Dam failed, causing widespread damage and flooding. The dam was an earthen embankment dam that formed Wixom Lake, and it was built in 1924 for hydroelectric power and flood control. The dam was about 54 feet tall and 6,600 feet long at its crest. On May 19, 2020, after two days of heavy rains, the dam failed, releasing the reservoir behind it. 
the floodwaters then overtop the downstream Sanford Dam, causing it to fail about two hours later. While there were no deaths or injuries, the financial cost of the flood damage was estimated at a staggering $200 million. The Edenville Dam was a particularly noteworthy structure as it had been providing hydroelectric power and flood control to the region for nearly a century. The investigation into the failure of the Edenville Dam was a lengthy and complex process that involved a team of experts from a variety of fields. The team was tasked with determining the cause of the failure and make recommendations for how to prevent similar incidents from happening in the future. The report found that the failure of the Edenville Dam was likely due to a phenomenon known as static liquefaction. Static liquefaction occurs when the weight of soil above a layer of loose, saturated soil causes the soil to lose its strength and behave like a liquid. This can cause significant deformation and ultimately lead to the failure of the dam. While static liquefaction is a known phenomenon, Phenomenon, it had not previously been considered as a possible cause of dam failure at the Edenville Dam. The implications of this finding are significant, as many other earthen embankment dams similar in age and composition to the Edenville Dam may be at risk of failure due to static liquefaction. The report's recommendations include a re-examination of the safety criteria used to evaluate such dams and the implementation of new monitoring systems to detect early signs of instability. Ability. Number 12. Tarbella Dam Pakistan Flood Tarbella Dam is the largest water reservoir and hydropower producer in Pakistan, providing irrigation, water, and electricity to millions of people. However, it faces a significant danger due to the fast-moving silt delta that is approaching the dam. The Tarbella Reservoir, which is 80.5 kilometers long and has a surface area of 250 square kilometers, initially stored 11.6 million acre-feet of water, but due to silt Siltation, it now stores only 6.8 million acre-feet of water. The catchment area upriver of the dam is spread over 168,000 square kilometers of land and is mainly supplemented by snow and glacier melt from the southern slopes of the Himalayas. The silt delta, which is only 6 kilometers away from the dam, has turned into a full-fledged ball and is slowly sliding into the tunnels of the dam. In the event of a collapse, the silt mountain will block the tunnels to driving the dam of irrigation supply and electricity generation, which could lead to a loss of trillions of rupees. This silt accumulation is due to the delay in the construction of check dams. This silt accumulation is due to the delay in the construction of check dams and watershed programs at Tarbella. On July 3, 2016, a tragedy occurred when a shuttering collapse at the Tarbella Dam, which resulted in the deaths of two Chinese engineers and two Pakistani nationals. The incident occurred during construction work on the Tarbella Dam Extension Project. In addition to the four fatalities, four other people were injured, including two Chinese nationals. Number 11. Two Dams in Northern China China is home to a big number of dams with more than 98,000 reservoirs used for various purposes such as flood control, power generation, and shipping facilitation. The government has always been fond of building dams as they provide various benefits including the creation of hydropower, irrigation, and water storage for agriculture. However, the recent collapse of two dams in Inner Mongolia has raised concerns about the safety of aging infrastructure, especially during the summer flood season. On July 18, 2021, two dams located in the Inner Mongolian city of Hulanbur collapsed after heavy rains. These dams had a combined water storage capacity of 46 million cubic meters. Fortunately, no casualties were reported, but people living downstream were evacuated. The Ministry of Water Resources said that 87 millimeters of rain fell on average in Hollandbjörg over the weekend, and as much as 223 millimeters at the Morindawa Monitoring Station. The city government of Hollandbjörg reported that 16,660 people were affected and 53,807 acres of farmland were submerged. The floods also 
also destroyed bridges and other transport infrastructure. The incident highlights the need to upgrade aging infrastructure as more than 80% of China's reservoirs are four decades old or older, and some pose safety risks. The government has acknowledged the problem, but a lack of financial resources means that nearly a third of the total number of reservoirs have not had mandatory safety appraisals completed. Number 10. Dam Collapsed in Uzbekistan On May 1, 2020, the dam wall of the Sardoba Reservoir in Uzbekistan collapsed after five days of severe storms causing water to pour through a breach onto cotton fields and villages. To prevent the collapse of dam walls, its gates were opened, causing water to spill into the southern Galadnastepsky Canal and its offshoots, with the intention of sending it to the Adar Aranase Lakes, a wetland of international ecological importance. However, the flood expanded, affecting more than 35,000 hectares of land in Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan. <laughs> Six people died and at least 111,000 were evacuated from the Sir Darya River Basin. The cost of constructing the reservoir was 1.3 trillion Uzbekistani sum and the recovery will require at least 1.5 trillion sum. The collapse of the dam is a culmination of decades of mismanagement and regional water conflicts in the river basin. The disaster has forced countries to cooperate over the immediate recovery and take the first steps towards joint management of shared basins. The Sordoba Reservoir was built on a canal of an old transboundary irrigation system that straddles Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, and Kazakhstan. The plains where the Sardoba Dam was built are known as the Galadnaya Steppe, naturally to dry to produce grain but transformed during the Soviet era into an intensively irrigated agricultural area producing grains and cotton. Despite this achievement, Uzbek hydro engineers consider the Galadnaya steppe unsuitable for further water infrastructure development. Climate change could have also played a role in the disaster. Uzbekistan still uses calculations from Soviet times and the climate has changed dramatically. It is necessary to develop new hydrological models taking into account climate variability and upgrade hydraulic engineering structures to prepare for the greater likelihood of catastrophic floods. Well, folks, get your video on that. There's just been an incident here. My goodness, something's just blown out. Number 9. Explosion at Hoover Dam The Hoover Dam is a monumental engineering achievement located on the Colorado River near Las Vegas, which generates hydroelectric power for parts of three U.S. states. It stands at an impressive height of 726 feet and is a popular tourist destination. However, a disaster struck the dam complex when a massive explosion rocked the site. Something has just blown up. As you can see in the video, footage of the incident, flames and massive plume of black smoke rose from the power-generating turbine house. Frightened tourists on top of the dam were quickly moved out of the area to safety. Dams are designed to store and control water flow for various purposes, including hydroelectric power generation. The dam's turbines convert the kinetic energy of falling water into electrical energy, which is then transmitted to the grid for use. However, the high voltage and electrical equipment used in dam facilities can also pose a risk of fires and explosions. Electrical faults, short circuits, and overheating of equipment are some of the common causes of transformer fires. In the case of the Hoover Dam explosion, the A5 transformer caught fire, causing a plume of black smoke and a mushroom cloud. The incident was contained within 30 minutes, but it damaged the hydroelectric complex and raised concerns about the safety of dams. While dams are designed to withstand natural disasters such as earthquakes, they still require regular maintenance and monitoring to prevent incidents like the Hoover Dam explosion. Experts suggest that improving safety measures such as installing fire suppression systems and upgrading equipment can help minimize the risk of accidents in dams. Number 8. Dam Burst in Myanmar Myanmar is a country located in Southeast Asia, known for its natural beauty and rich cultural heritage. 
However, it is also a country that has faced its fair share of natural disasters, including the devastating collapse of the Swar Chong Dam in Yadashi Township in 2018. The Swang Shang Dam was an earthen dam built in the 1990s to provide irrigation water for the surrounding farmland. It had a capacity of 2.5 million cubic meters and was used for fish farming and to generate electricity for nearby villages. However, the dam was not well maintained and its design was inadequate to handle the heavy rainfall during the monsoon season. In August 2018, the monsoon season was particularly severe, with heavy rains causing water levels in the dam to rise rapidly. Despite warnings from local residents, the authorities did not take adequate measures to prevent the dam from collapsing. As a result, on August 29th, the dam gave way, releasing a massive wall of water that swept away villages, crops, and livestock. According to the government, 16 people died and thousands were displaced. However, some reports suggest that the actual number of casualties could be higher. The collapse of the Swar Shang Dam was a tragedy that claimed many lives and caused widespread destruction. Destruction. The lack of preparedness and response plans aggravated the situation, leaving local residents helpless in the face of the disaster. Number 7 a glacier has collapsed in India. India is home to some of the most beautiful glaciers in the world, located in the northern region of the country in the Himalayas. These glaciers are critical for the survival of millions of people and the wildlife that inhabit the region as they serve as a vital source of water. However, climate change has had a significant impact on the region, leading to rapid melting of the glaciers and an increase in the risk of glacier-related disasters. In February 2021, the Atarakhand region in India experienced a catastrophic event when a Himalayan glacier collapsed. The glacier, which was estimated to be the size of a football field, crashed into the Rishiganga Hydroelectric Project Dam, triggering a massive deluge that swept away everything in its path. <laughs> The floodwaters caused widespread destruction, with many homes, bridges, and roads washed away. The incident resulted in a significant loss of lives and livelihoods, with hundreds of people still missing or presumed dead. The disaster caused serious concerns about the safety of infrastructure projects in the region and the need for greater investment in early warning systems and disaster preparedness measures. Number 6. Accident at Sayano Shushenskaya On August 17, 2009, the Sayano Shushenskaya Dam in Russia experienced a catastrophic event that killed 75 people and severely damaged the dam's power station. The incident began in the early morning hours when a turbine failed unexpectedly, triggering a chain reaction that resulted in a massive flood in the turbine hall. The flood caused several generators to malfunction and shut down, resulting in a power outage and the failure of the dam's automatic control systems. The Sayano Shushenskaya Dam is situated on the Yenisei River in Russia's Caucasia region. By average power generation, it is Russia's largest power plant and the world's ninth largest hydroelectric plan. The dam, which was completed in 1985, is an arch-gravity dam that stands 790 feet tall and 3,497 feet long. The dam's power station is outfitted with 10 turbines with a total installed capacity of 6,400 MW, producing an average of 23.5 TWH of electricity per year. This is not the first time an accident has occurred at the Sayano Shushinskaya Dam. One of the dam's generators failed in 1979, resulting in a power outage. Another power outage occurred in 1985 when a transformer caught fire. A turbine failed in 1988, resulting in a third power outage. All of these incidents were deemed minor with no deaths or significant damage occurring. Before we go on, like this video, smash that subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. It's time for today's subscriber pick. 
We received this image from one of our subscribers claiming it was taken in Mozambique. Allegedly, he and his friends were touring the area when they stumbled upon this perilous scene. The spillway of the dam was open and spewing out muddy water and an alarming pressure. Yet the people in the vicinity were seen standing there, admiring the dangerous yet breathtaking view. This raises many questions. How can we ensure the safety of individuals who are drawn to these types of sites? What measures should be put in place to prevent accidents or injuries? Remember to comment down below with the hashtag subscriber pick and let us know what you think. Now, on to the next topic. Number 5. Mariana Dam The Mariana Dam disaster, also known as the Simarco Mining Disaster, is one of the worst environmental tragedies to hit Brazil in recent years. The incident occurred on November 5, 2015 when a tailings dam operated by the mining company Simarco collapsed in the city of Mariana, Minas Gerais, Brazil. The collapse resulted in the release of approximately 60 million cubic meters of waste into the surrounding environment, causing massive environmental damage and loss of life. The impact of the disaster was widespread, with 19 people killed and thousands more displaced. The waste from the dam reached the Atlantic Ocean, causing significant pollution and damage to marine life. The disaster has been described as one of Brazil's worst environmental tragedies, and its effects are still being felt today. In the aftermath of the disaster, lawsuits were filed against Simarco, its parent companies BHP, Billiton, and Vale, and the Brazilian government. These lawsuits sought to hold those responsible for the disaster accountable for their actions and to secure compensation for those affected by the disaster. Number 4. Oroville the Oroville Dam crisis in 2017 was a terrifying experience for Northern California residents. On February 7th, heavy rainfall eroded the Oroville Dam spillway, raising fears that the dam's emergency spillway would fail and cause catastrophic flooding. Nearly 200,000 people living downstream of the dam were evacuated as a result of the crisis. With a height of 770 feet, the Oroville Dam is the tallest dam in the United States. It was built in 1968 and is located on the Feather River in Butte County, California. The dam is primarily used for water storage and hydroelectric power generation, and the reservoir it creates, Lake Oroville, is a popular destination for boating and fishing. This was not the first time the Oroville Dam had made headlines due to safety concerns. The California Department of Water Resources, DWR, discovered in 2009 that the dam's spillway was severely damaged and needed to be repaired. The DWR also discovered that the dam's emergency spillway was not up to current safety standards and could fail in the event of heavy rain. Despite these findings, the emergency spillway was not repaired until after the 2017 crisis. Following the crisis, the DWR has begun to implement a plan to repair and upgrade the dam's spillways in order to prevent future incidents. The repairs are expected to cost more than $1 billion. Northern California residents can only hope that the Oroville Dam repairs and upgrades will prevent a similar crisis from occurring in the future. Number 3. Three Gorges Dam Large dams can change the rotation of the Earth by redistributing mass. This is referred to as the flywheel effect. The Three Gorges Dam in China is one such dam that has had a significant impact on the rotation of the Earth. With a total installed capacity of 22,500 MW, the Three Gorges Dam on the Yangtze River in Hubei Province is the world's largest hydroelectric power station. The Three Gorges Dam project began in 1994 and was completed in 2012. The dam is more than two miles long and 607 feet tall. Its goal is to produce electricity, control floods, and improve Yangtze River navigation. The dam was successful in producing electricity, but it also created significant environmental and social issues. The Three Gorges Dam has displaced over 1.3 million people and caused extensive environmental damage. The dam has altered water flow and sedimentation, leading to increased erosion and landslides. The dam has also altered the history.
The dam has also altered the chemistry of the water, resulting in the extinction of aquatic life and changes to the Yangtze River's ecosystem. The dam has also caused water quality issues. The water in the reservoir behind the dam has become stagnant, increasing the amount of pollutants and allowing disease to spread. The dam has also caused water supply issues, as the water in the reservoir is unfit for drinking or irrigation. Number 2. Dam Burst and the Kiantang River River. Humans are naturally attracted to large bodies of water and there are countless tourist places around the world that offer stunning views of oceans, rivers, and lakes. One such place is the Kaitang River in Haining, China, where a tidal bore occurs annually, drawing hundreds of visitors. However, in 2011, the event took a dangerous turn when the tidal bore burst through a dam and spilled over the riverbank, sweeping scores of tourists off their feet. While natural phenomena can be mesmerized, they can also be unpredictable and pose a hazard to those who underestimate their power. It's essential to take appropriate safety measures and follow the advice of local authorities when visiting such places. The dam on the Kiantang River was built to help control the water flow and prevent flooding in the surrounding areas. However, the force of the tidal bore was too much for the dam to withstand and it burst through, causing chaos and danger for those nearby. The tidal bore was caused by the gravitational pull of the moon and is a result of the river's unique geography. The bore can reach heights of up to 30 feet and move at speeds of up to 25 miles per hour, making it a thrilling yet dangerous sight to witness. Despite the risks, the annual event continues to attract tourists and locals alike. Many travel from far and wide to watch a glimpse of the mesmerizing wave and witness nature's power in action. Number 1. Sardoba Reservoir Dam Breach Earth-filled dams are structures that are made by compacting layers of soil material. They are cost-efficient and can be established in compressible foundations, making them a popular choice in many parts of the world. However, these dams are not without their dangers. One of the dangers associated with earth-filled dams is the potential for structural failure. This can occur due to a variety of factors such as poor design or construction practices, inadequate maintenance, or natural disasters like earthquakes or heavy rainfall. When an earth-filled dam fails, it can cause extensive flooding, displacement of communities, and even loss of life. Recently, a dam failure occurred in Uzbekistan, causing significant damage and highlighting the risks associated with earth-filled dams. The dam was an earth-filled structure recently constructed in 2017 and designed to provide water for irrigation in the surrounding fields. This collapse of the the Sardoba Reservoir was caused by excessive rainfall, resulting in the evacuation of over 90,000 people and extensive flooding in the surrounding areas. In addition to the risks associated with structural failure, earth-filled dams can also pose environmental risks. The construction of these dams can alter the natural flow of rivers, impacting aquatic ecosystems and habitats. The dams can also result in the accumulation of sediment, reducing the availability of water down stream. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one.